Welcome to part one of Robin Hood Sherwood Builder, an extremely unique action adventure RPG game that combines third person exploration and combat with both town building elements and survival aspects too. We're role playing as Robin Hood, hunting in the forests of Sherwood to survive and stealing supplies by ambushing the convoys from Nottingham and using them to craft and build a secret medieval village. In in the hopes we can create a community large enough to trigger a revolution in the ranks of Nottingham. Robin Hood Sherwood Builder is a unique take on role-playing the hero, but if you guys have any feedback for the developers, leave it in the comment section below. So far this game has honestly grown on me quite a lot the more I play of it. Not only is the concept unique, but you're going to have a souls-like boss battle, freeing prisoners from convoys, and also sneaking into the the sheriff's castle all in this episode the scope and concept of this game seems really unique but how well is it executed here are my first impressions england black henry's ruthlessness knows no end the former commander of the armies of the fallen king richard the lionheart now sheds blood in the name of paying taxes owed to King John. The stigma of suffering hangs over an oppressed people. The evil and destruction sown by Henry is compounded by the rule of the murderous Sheriff of Nottingham. Together they plan another plot to end the life of the last of the Loxley family, Robin. Oh, cool intro. Did not expect that. Quest reunion started. And damn, this game looks beautiful. We have already a skeletal corpse hanging from a burned tree here. Right, let's go down to the village. Do we need... Okay, we got objectives on the top here. So we can go and talk to the... Uh, I guess the gold one is the quest objective. Damn, there's a pretty impressive church built out of just wood here. Oh, a well. Okay. It's important to mind your provisions before you set out on another journey. They can be found, made, or brought at the local trader. Remember to keep an eye on your motives, because the thirst and hunger can be lethal when overlooked. Luckily, water is easier to come by. You only need to have empty bottles to be able to fill them up at a nearby well. Very well. Okay. And I've got my water and food bar at the bottom left there. Brother Tuck, eh? <laughs> what a sight for sore eyes. Praised be the day, for our good friend Robin is finally back. The voice acting's okay. And just as I had feared, he looks absolutely horrendous. By Mary, Robin, did you lose a fight to a bear? What trouble did you get into this time? Don't even ask, and it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures anyway. Don't even ask. And it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures anyway. Voice acted, didn't realize. Very good. Well, you are a master of cock and bull stories after all. And yet, I do notice you are quite parched and exhausted. Why don't you go and have a snack and rest in your hut for now? Cock and bull story, by the way, is a British term. It's probably going to sound quite weird to anyone American watching this. Do not fret or worry about anything else at the moment. There is no work that cannot wait until tomorrow dawn. Very well. This is Robin's inventory, where all your items can be found. Press I to access it. Okay, great. Like any RPG, the top row represents your quick bar. Okay, I get it. We also have a quick bar wheel. Probably going to be on console as well then, I guess. All right, let's go and head to our... We can sprint as well. To our hut. He's given me some items. He's given me a water bottle. I guess I can drink. But I actually... Oh, I can equip it. Okay. Oh my god, it's got an animation. That's cool. A lot of games don't have that. This is only the alpha as well, guys. So it's pretty early on. And we can now fill up our water bottle at the well. I can craft a water bottle. Okay, great. Fantastic. So immediately fill up my water. Got no food left. Apparently this is my house. Oh, it's quite, quite like it. We've got some other things lying around. And there's actually... Uh, potions. What one set? Is that a pickaxe and an axe? Oh my god, we can go mining. We've also got 30 gold, apparently. I assume there's a lot of crafting in this game. This is my bed. Sleeping is important. Not only does it let you save your game, but it also restores your health. 
Look out for spots marked by owls and lanterns to find a place to rest. So there's going to be camps in the wilderness pre-set up, I guess. Woo! Would have been cool if I could put my own camp down, but I guess that's part of the checkpoint system, the way the game works. Save game. Oh, I got 300 experience for doing that quest. Okay, cool. By the way, guys, if you like these playthroughs and you like medieval games, definitely subscribe with the bell icon to the channel because I really enjoy checking out new medieval games like this. And we might even do a part two as this game's updated. So subscribe to stay up to date for that. Brother Tuck. Ah, the morning breeze sure is wonderful today. And look at yourself, friend. A night's sleep has really done you a favor. Are Oof. you fully awake yet, though? I see your trusty bow is missing. I didn't forget it. Oh, I don't need to read this because it's voice acting. I didn't forget it, Brother Tuck. And it hurts me to say that, but I've lost it on my way home. And Lady Marion as well, as I can't seem to find her. Damn, must have been a good night, son. Is that so? In that case, get up and work the axe, for you are in need of a new bow. The wood should be good enough for both the stave and the arrows. An effortless task for a man like you, eh? You could probably buy one from a merchant, but since we are in a dire need of a bowman, you can have the bowstring I have been carrying around. And do not worry about our Lady Marion, for she is off to forage for herbs. Now she's already up. Come back to me after you have finished crafting your new friend, because I have a few ideas for tasks I could assign you to. All right, well, have you given me an axe? He has. We have a dull hatchet and a hatchet. All right, let's head out into the forest and go and cut some wood then. Actually, the game's quite pretty. I, I think it's Unreal Engine. But I can see now I have my axe out. Some of the trees are glowing. So I guess these are like outside the town area and I can cut these down. Careful, your tools are sturdy, but even they need to be maintained. Okay, so they can break. Okay, the animation is a bit wooden and I'm doing damage. That's... There's some damage numbers there. I don't know how this is a strong tree. Okay, and then it falls on the floor and the materials drop. Okay. Be a bit more poetry to that. It would be cool if the tree actually fell over. Kind of like in Valheim. You know, to cut it down, right? I mean, this does the job. I've also got a stamina bar that's going down as I'm cutting this. I need 15 wood. I've got 13 out of 15 so far. Each tree seems to drop five. Crafting, you can create various weapons with the crafting section. Okay, and you can do it from your inventory, apparently. You don't need a workbench or anything. I'm gonna go chop down some more trees. All right, so now we have 32 wood. We can actually craft a bow or even another hatchet, which requires free stone as well. I'm gonna craft a bow though, because we've got our bow string and we'll craft loads of arrows. And it has a little timer. I don't really understand the point of this timer. Unless I guess I get attacked. I can't craft the mid-combat. I guess that's the point. All right, a lesson learned. You've gained enough experience to unlock new traits. To unlock traits, press H to open up your character title screen and click through the highlighted traits that you want. Okay. Picking a trait unlocks the traits in close proximity to it. Okay, I get, I get it. Very simple. If we press H then, you can see I've unlocked some new abilities. Quick draw, increase bow warp speed, sprinter plus 75 is pretty good i'm gonna go straight up into the top for damage on my bow uh, and we'll leave it at that got some stones here and craft another axe with this if i want and we need to go back to town to talk to our friend over here say we've crafted ourselves a bow would you look at that i would say that bow seems prettier than your old one <laughs> no offense to your old companion of course none taken I can't say how comfortable it feels to have one on me again. God has been kind to you, Robin, so why not repay him with some good deeds for the community? Silwich could use your help. I see what you did there, you manipulative man. You see, dear Robin, hunting without a skilled bowman left us short on meat. Would I be wrong to assume that taking on some deer should not be too much of a challenge for you today? One way to get food is to hunt, and luckily, game is plentiful and sure to be found in certain spots in the forest. Deer are careful and watchful creatures. The best way to hunt them is to keep your distance, sneak up on them, and make use of their distraction. Use the bow. All you need to do is have some arrows in your quiver and hands ready to draw. Okay, got it. Uh, right. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, one sec. When you get your bow out, it, like, zooms in. I don't know if I like that. It's going to be hard to do combat like that. Alright, so apparently there's some um, deer in the forest. 
One sec. Oh my god, okay. So there's some deer around here, the hunting grounds, here and here. Dude, this is this is huge. What the hell? Oh my god. It's like medieval dynasty. Like um the sense of the map is actually massive. Okay, so they've clearly got like big plans. I'm gonna run through the forest to so the hunting spot. The forest is very pretty. Pleasure to walk through, that's for sure. Look at the size of some of these trees. I mean, they are inhumanly big. But, I mean, it's a game. It looks cool, right? Oh, one sec, there's a deer right there. Can't oh, miss the first shot. Had hours of training for this. Oh my god, it literally baited me. Okay, I think I killed it. I think I killed it. That's run over. It's actually highlighted for me. Don't know if I like the highlighting, but I guess it would be very hard to find in all this grass. So it's essentially turned into meat. We've got five raw meat. Let's go ahead and sneak around here because it was a lot harder to hit when it was running. Sneaking through the trees is satisfying. So we are actually in the hunting grounds right now. Oh, I can see one just over there. Okay, let's see if I can get my bow out. I think I missed. Right, let's sneak along the river here and see if we can catch up to it. I have no idea where it went, guys. I literally have... Oh! The forest is riddled with danger. You've just met one of its heralds. Luckily, Robin has a couple of tricks up his sleeve to counter them. Wait, we've just met bandits! You can dodge roll away from attacks by pressing spacebar while moving sideways. With the right timing, it can get you out of serious trouble. Speaking of timing, you can also enter a state of slow motion by pressing F. What? Gives you a significant advantage over your enemies. Yeah, I would imagine so. Keep in mind that both these actions will drain your stamina. Use them sparingly. Oh. Where are the Oh god, what the hell? I just got hit by a bloody arrow. Okay, it's coming from over here. I can see the guy up there. Oh Jesus! Jesus Christ! I didn't see him because of the Oh my god, okay, here we go, here we go. Try out the combat. Oh. Jesus Christ, that hurts. See if I can dodge one. Oh. oh my god, he's really killing me. Jesus. They're not messing around. Oh my god, he got a shield as well? Oh god. Come on then. Oh god, okay, I actually died. I got... That was embarrassing. Alright, I've reloaded. Here he is. Oh my god, I hit him. Oh! Oh Jesus Christ. Ha! Huh. Okay, okay, it's a lot easier if you can kind of bait his attacks out. Come on, attack me. Ha! Huh. Oh, what's that? Self-care. Appears your health is low. Well, you could have told me that earlier, how to heal. Okay, water would have healed me as well. Great. Okay, he's dead. We killed him. What did he drop? Stack of coins. Nice. Can we pick up his weapons? No. Yeah, I don't... So we killed that one guy. Oh, there's a deer. There's a deer. Damn, it's actually quite tricky to hit them. Now, I know there's another guy in that bandit hideout with a, with a bow. You can see him just there. I wonder if I can sneak attack him here. 93 damage. That must have been a sneak attack, surely. I'm hitting him hard, man. Look at me. I'm rapid. He's tanky, though. Why is he... Okay, that must have killed him. I think he's dead. I don't know if there's anyone else in this hideout, but... Let's approach carefully. Dude, look at the god rays. It's so pretty. Cliffinch nest. There's actually a mead here. More water. Oh, an elder cheese what roll? I love it. Fantastic. There's also something else. Oh, one sec. I can cook. Oh my god, I can, I can use my wood and raw meat to make cooked meat, which I guess gives me more health and restores more food there's also some loot here uh, apples bowstring can make another bow uh, some stones some salt what's that sound i can hear i can see the deer from up here 
Oh, dude, that was a good shot, though. Come on. There's another one just there. The idea right in the distance? Oh, it turned. Well, we killed the bandits here. The forest is safer, but I still haven't killed many deer. That's our next quest, to hunt down some deer. Sounds like a sheep. There it is! Oh my god, I hit it. Fantastic. I don't know how to undraw my bow. Got some more meat, though. There's another one. No! Nope. Yes! We actually get experience for killing them as well, which is good. Oh, hit the tree. Oh, slow motion, come on. Here we go. Oh my god, it actually hit. I got 15 meat so far. We need a lot more. Oh, yes! Dude, the slow motion thing is overpowered. Makes this so much easier. Here we go. Look at this beautiful shot. Oh, my God. You destroyed him. Actually quite fun hunting deer so far. Oh, we got the long shot. Beautiful. There it is. Oh, come on. Damn it. Apparently just here there is a campsite. Doesn't seem to be any enemies around here. What a nice little area though. I'm gonna have a rest here, I think. Also a cooking station. I can actually cook some of this meat. Have a sleep. Okay, we've now woken up. It is the morning. Um, and we've got 34 meat to return to the settlement with. In fact, we can just walk up this path to this settlement. I am actually currently starving, so let's go ahead and eat this. Oh yes, man, the way he just absolutely feasts on it. And we'll have some water as well. I can refill this later, so... Might as well just drink it all. So on the way back from the valley camp, I've just come across this location. It looks like an enemy encampment. I'm not going to attack this yet, but I will attack it at some point, I'm sure. Here we are, back at the settlement. What is this area? That's like some kind of tax collector. All right, we're back in the town center. I'm going to fill up my water and then we'll speak to the tuck. Now we need to put them in the town storage, all the meat that we collected. Look at this peasant. Why is he walking like that? Now he has 30 out of 30 meat. Let's go and speak to the friar when we've done his work. I see you are back alive and well. Hopefully you are bringing good news along with you. Were you able to hunt down some deer? It's almost like you're forgetting who you're talking to, Brother Tuck. Here it is. And it's still warm to the touch. I only hope it's enough for the community. By the grace, yes. And now that our people will not have to worry about food, they can finally get to work properly. Hmm. And that means you need not rest for too long now. If we want to be effective, we, and by that I mean you, need to gather more resources for the village's expansion as soon as possible. Great. Sounds like another invigorating task. What would you like me to fetch? Just some rocks for the furnace I have got a blueprint of, my friend. We need something to smelt the iron ore into ingots if we want to have good tools. So be it then. I will be back when I have enough. So apparently we can gather wood here, and then there's somewhere for mining there. So I want to do some mining, so let's go and check that out. Oh my god, is that a castle up there? Or is it like a ruin? Okay, we've got to explore that later on. But this appears to be some kind of quarry. Apparently there's... we can mine here? Okay, there's a pickaxe here. But I've already got a pickaxe, so I'm just going to go ahead and start mining these rocks which turn red when i pick this up it's a pity that they don't have a mining animation for this okay so if i hit this spot it's green and i start doing damage they really should add mining animations i don't know if that's on the to-do list because this is an alpha um but it would be a lot more satisfying to have an animation for that and also i seem to be using a very small pick that you would usually use when you're mining for gold and not stone this is iron ore and stone. Oh, this is cool, though. How it, like, ships off, I really like. Because you keep hitting it, and then the resource actually depletes. And then it actually rolls off. And as you can see, we have stone and ore from here. All right, I now have enough stone for this development that I'm going to be doing. 
go ahead and put our axe and stuff away and now we've got to go and cut some wood ah, yikes. the resource gathering in this game just seems like something to do but it doesn't seem that satisfying i mean i've played a lot of games where you gather resources and this one just doesn't seem that satisfying so i'm keen to see what the building's like hopefully that's more rewarding than this maybe it's because i'm beating the tree with the side of the axe i'm not even like using my axe properly we really need some good animations for like axe cutting because this is just not it <laughs> it's not how you... <laughs> looks like i'm batting it with the, with the stick end of the axe okay we've got all of the wood we needed Let's go ahead and head back to the village. And now, apparently, we can build a furnace. Manage your village. That map of Skyrim. Oh, okay. The village needs expansion, and the builder is a tool to help it grow. First, you need to clear the terrain before construction. Okay. Click on the trees you'd like to remove, and then pick the buildings you'd like to construct and place them in that area. Don't forget that you need supplies to build, and your villagers need to eat before they work to be able to use said supplies. You will need to place them in the storage building. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we wanted to make a furnace. But first, we're going to have to clear one of these trees. Oh, okay. Is that easy? So I have 31 food, you guys can see. If I cut this tree down, my food goes down. I quite like the immersion of this. This is quite pleasurable to do. Oh, timber, mate. Watch out. All right, so we can make ourselves the furnace now. Find the perfect spot it can go. There we go. Oh, oh, nice. I like that a lot. So, oh, look, the villagers are actually running over there just beating the crap out of the wooden structure with hammers never seen architecture constructed like this and i trained as an architect but hey it looks incredible in rts oh i see so they're doing it so it's like slowly loading here that's really cool and it requires five workers to do that all right and we've harvested we've used up a lot of food by doing this but it's slowly coming together, friends. I'm excited. Oh, wow. He's beating it with a hammer so hard that the roof is just constructing itself. Okay, it's now ready for use. We also need a furnace. We don't have enough wood. If I cut down the wood, do I get more wood? Oh, I do get more wood, but it uses up the food. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and build this right next to... So it has an arrow pointing downwards, so I assume I need to place it somewhere that people can actually put materials into it. So just here seems fine. Go ahead and wait for this to be constructed. This is really cool. It's building itself before they even get there. Now the workers are hammering it furiously once again. I think my favorite part about this game so far is the fact that you can watch everything get constructed. It's quite satisfying to watch, to be honest. If I exit this, can I go and see them constructing it? Oh my god, I can go and watch it getting constructed as well? Oh, I should have done that. The furnace is ready for use. Well done, you basic NPCs. So now I guess I can forge the iron. Iron ingots. I need to go back home and get the iron. And then I also accidentally made this fireplace. What does this do? Cooked meat. Okay, so I can just make cooked meat here. Let's go and get the iron. I have to do everything myself. Out of my way, you basic peasants. What's that the sound he made? Did you hear that? Now you can make iron ingots. I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I don't have enough wood. I need a few wood and iron to craft one. And maybe I can finally upgrade my weaponry. Go and speak to the friar. Friar Tuck. Finally, Silwich has its own furnace. Imagine all the tools you could make with its help. However... Aren't we lacking a smithy to make them? Precisely, dear Robin. I did not want to put too much work on your back at once, but it is a necessity. Please take this pickaxe because we are going to need oars for that. Come back when you have enough. Great. Great, great. Okay, so we also need a blacksmithery as well. So he's given us a proper pickaxe now, a metal tool instead of the dull pickaxe, which is pretty useless. So this is a lot more effective. Oh, yes, look at that. God damn. Yes. This is so much faster. Oh, mate, using the other one was so annoying. Again, wish they had the animation, though. A lot more iron being dropped as well. All right, so I already have all of the iron and stone that I need. That's a lot more enjoyable to do. Now I just need to go and get the trees. So there's certain perks that increase my efficiency of, like, woodcutting and things like this. And I'm actually quite tempted to get that. Increase our hatchet, our hunger tolerance... Strong mining multiplier. Heavy hatchet increases it even further. 
endurance, faster stamina regeneration. Okay, I've spent all my perk points like this. We have extra health regeneration and health now as well, so I shouldn't die as easily. Um, in case we do jump into combat. And I've just realized I'm using a pickaxe and not an axe to mine this. Oh, now I'm doing 18 damage. Oh my god, it's so much faster. Yes. At the start, it took so long. I got so bored. Oh, I can see another hunter in the trees here. He's actually looking the other way. Oh, 106 damage in the head. We actually staggered him as well. Just dodging his arrows every time I see him fire. Oh, come on. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. Taking him out. All right, now we can drop all of the food that we've just harvested in here, along with the rest of the wood, and we can begin the crafting process. But let's watch it up close this time when we actually craft the blacksmith. Go ahead and put it right here. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, this is sick. Oh, mate. Wow. Actually being constructed. It's quite cool. Quite nice that you can like come and actually watch it as it all gets filled in magically. Look at that. Look at this guy just smashing that bench with a hammer. He's doing work. There's a bloody earthquake there. This man appeared out of nowhere. Goodness me. Smithy, hello there. So we can buy short swords from him, but we have to give him the ingredients to craft it. He also makes long swords, which requires silver. Oh, we can make lock picks. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I wonder what the lock picks are for. The plot thickens. It is a day of sorrow indeed. Our beloved grandmother, Matilda, fell victim to a beastly bear. Jesus. For the good of our people, please kill it before it causes another such tragedy. Of course. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'll get to it right away. Do you know where I could likely find that bear? Should still be lurking around our dear Matilda's house. Somewhere around Westford. Maybe sitting in its den. What a foul creature. Grandmother or Matilda? I need to warn you, though, that bear is infamously large. Even with your commendable hunting skills, a barrage of arrows will not be enough to put it down. We do have a blacksmith now, so maybe you could get a sword. Hopefully a sword will be enough. Hopefully. Oh, God. I want to go out there with a bow, mate. Have you ever played Skyrim? You can kill anything with a bow. Hopefully, a sword will be enough. Okay, a short sword versus a bear. I need sulfur as well. Where do I get sulfur from? The trader isn't interested in anything apart from the iron ingots, which I need, and they're only worth four gold. I need free sulfur for this. Okay, so I've just found I can sell mead for ten gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell him all my mead. I can buy all the sulfur. Fantastic. Because the game hasn't told me where I get sulfur, so that's my only choice right now. Oh, actually, I've just seen there's sturdy arrows, plus seven bow damage, and plus ten sword damage is also here. So I have mad arrow damage, and that should be enough. All right, now we can go back to the blacksmith with all the ingredients. We can make ourselves the short sword. Here we go. I don't know how much better the long sword is, but we'll find out, I guess. The bow is a reliable friend. It lets you sneak up on foes and attack them from afar, but in close combat, consider picking the blade. While getting closer to your foes might be risky, the sword allows you to attack them swiftly and even block incoming attacks. Oh, I didn't know you could block. Ah, so that's the advantage of using a sword over an axe. You can block. I now have a short sword. Look at that. Oh, okay. The animations are quite nice. <laughs> that well, you know, they're good and I can block. <laughs> nice. We can't wait to try this out. Tomorrow we battle a bear, but now we rest. There's also a stable here, so I guess you can get horses at some point. But on the left side, past the ruins, we're going to find this bear. So let's head over. I've crafted some arrows and I'm ready to do battle. I'm actually quite keen to head over to the watchtower just in the distance over there. 
And here we are at the foothills of this watchtower. I don't know if I can see in the windows here. It looks pretty abandoned, actually. Open door. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's it's quite abandoned. Maybe there's something going to be put here in the future? I don't know. Oh, we can loot the bookshelf. A scroll of knowledge. Okay. Can I use this? Oh, wait, I just got tons of experience. I don't know how much, but that was nice. I wonder how far we can see from up here then. Oh my god, this is pretty amazing. Looks like they were still building this castle. Oh my god, I can see Nottingham from here. I used to live there actually in real life. Pretty awesome view though. So we need to go all the way over there. Just running out of the forest with this sword drawn like a madman. In fact, just here I can see it's kind of like a little area. Where maybe we can lay some traps. I saw some gameplay in the trailer where you could actually lay traps to stop the, uh, the men and rob them. Oh, there's a enemy camp up ahead as well. And I can see like a house over there in the distance. Kind of church looking thing. But let's sneak up to this camp, see what we find. I don't know if there's any enemies here though. It looks like a mine of some kind. No one here. Hmm. The big cave. Ah, oh, I wonder if there's silver in here. Seems to go quite deep underground. Don't know what we're going to find. There's something to loot. Ooh, salt and chicken. Take that. Ooh. And there's some iron ore, some more arrows, a leg of chicken. Eat the bone as well, man. Jesus. And here's the exit. It's going to sneak mode here. I don't know what we're going to find. Looks like another village. So we're just here at this other village. Um, and the bear we need to kill is over there. All right, we are now near where this bear is located. Probably up this waterfall on the left here. Definitely going to start sneaking. Checkpoint updated. Okay, great. We're going to be in a battle soon. Oh, I can see it just there. There's actually a campsite here as well. Fireplace. Bears killed some people, I guess. There's actually like a proper battleground over here. Okay, he looks like a butch bear, man. Let's just shoot him. Oh my god, they did one damage. Oh god. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm gonna go in with a sword. Yeah, like. Here we go. Jesus. Oh god. Whoa. Oh my god, it's an actual boss battle. What the hell? Oh, okay. Got to bait out his attacks here, because otherwise he's going to slam. Oh, Jesus, that hurts. Okay, I dodge it off. Give me those iframes. The dodge roll's weird, because you have to hold down the space bar. Whoa! Oh, we can't... Uh... Jesus, I wasn't expecting it to be this, this intense. Oh my god, the, the bow is horrible to use up place. See what I mean with a roll? It's kind of like, you have to hold down space bar, but it's also tied to the jump. So sometimes it just doesn't do anything, it's really weird. It's not, not so much Dark Souls combat. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Jesus Christ, this thing is a menace. Coming for me still. I mean, I can't kill it with a bow and arrow. Oh, it's just healing itself. Oh, Jesus. How am I meant to kill this? I'm gonna have to get good. Oh my god! Didn't expect that, did you? He died. <laughs> Retry. Alright, we're coming back. We're going back for round two, friends. This time. This bear is going to get wrecked. Here he comes. Ooh, big strike. Oh, God. I can block. I can block. I forgot that. Oh, God. Okay, it still hits you hard, though. 
Ooh, okay, okay. I don't want to get too... Oh, hello. He really spins on the spot when he goes for those attacks. I want some of the attacks animations in the trailer, and they seem a lot cooler than the animations on the sword. But the blood splatter sounds decent. We've always taken him down. Come on. Dude, this is not a bear like I've ever seen. Oh my god, I just clicked off the game. Jesus. And again. How is that even possible? I'm playing in window mode. Oh god. Okay, okay, he's almost down. Finish him! Finish him! Oh my goodness, get wrecked! Quest Robin and the Beast completed. Oh, can't even loot it. I've gone into first person. Amazing. Oh, 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 oh. She dead. She has a Matilda's key. It opens the chest in her house. So you mean I can rob her? That was well worth it. And there's a mossy skeleton over here. Someone she previously killed. Now Matilda's cottage is just to the north of here. So we can go and loot that. And then we need to go back and talk to Tuck. I actually see some bandits just to the north of this location. I'm going to try and take him out. Long distance shot. See the arrows whizzing past me there. Whenever you land a crit on them, they seem to move. Oh, okay. One down. Great. I'm going to creep a little bit closer here. i got my trusty blade anyway. Okay, okay. I see another dude just down there at the bottom. Oh, he dodged. Oh god! Jesus! Let's go. Oh Jesus! I don't want to die, otherwise I have to reload. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go and make a run for it. 55 damage right in the head. There we go. I've been running these guys in circles. Oh, one's down. Finally. Come on, then. let's go. How did that hit me? Come on, then. let's go. Die, get him. Yes. We defeated him, thank goodness. Oh, that was intense. Like, I ran all the way from over there around the lake. Luckily, we've collected a cheese wheel from him, though. And it seems like we've ended up at, uh, what's her name's house? Matilda's house. Our grandmother. Or so they called her. There's a lot of blood. And there's actually another enemy camp over there. So this is her house. It looks absolutely wrecked. Apparently, there's a chest here which has a yellow potion, a green potion, repair tools. I need those for my axe and some wine, and a book of ancient knowledge. Her house not only had a bear attack it, but a massive tree fell on it as well. She wasn't really looking after herself, was she? Anyway, we're at Westford still, so we've got to get all the way back here. All right, I've made it back to town now, and now we need to speak to Friar Tuck. Robin, how glad I am to see you right now. Word is there is a convoy nearby, and that Ooh. this convoy is transporting a bunch of imprisoned folk. Surely you will find that worth looking into, right, Robin? Right, Robin! Will you free the prisoners? Robin, please? Surely I will. We need Surely. to help those people. How much time do we have to attack? Enough to make proper preparation, that is for sure. Our men are willing to fight, but we need to arm them first. Leave that to me. I will fetch the weapons and we'll be on our way. Good, and I will reach out to our men and tell them to get ready. Bring us the weapons once you have them. Oh, this is the chapel. Okay, it is a church then, can confirm. Huh. So we need to have a bow, a short sword, and talk to Tuck. Right, now I have a short sword and bow in my inventory. We can go and speak to Friar Tuck. Oh, great! You are back with the weapons already. And we still have time to get to the hiding spot near Fourth Dow before the convoy. I will pass those weapons to the people and tell Wait, them to move. Meet them there. 
What am I gonna use? You just took, I didn't know you were gonna give my weapons away. Great, great, yeah. Let me just strip Robin the hero of all of his weapons. Fantastic. It's lucky I found that extra bowstring and can craft myself another bow. Otherwise, Robin Hood would be pretty damn useless without a bow. So we need to go and meet these peasants just over here. Rendezvous with your companions. Right, I'm here at the ambush site where the log's been pushed across the pathway. Go and talk to the man in charge, Richard. Is that my bow, Richard? Brace yourselves, everyone. Robin is here. Should we set up an ambush for the convoy already? Yeah, let's do it, boys. Yes, it's about time. Oh, here it comes. Crouch, get down, man. Oh, where's everyone else? Is it just me and you? Oh, no, there's someone else there. Got him. Got him, son. Oh, dude, that guy's in full armor. Oh, Jesus. Run away. Run away. Retreat. Oh. Retreat, brothers. I'm coming. Oh. Ah. I'll finish him off. Don't worry. Go ahead, boys. Just, I'm running. I'm like running around like a madman with an axe. Oh, look, there's a secret pathway. Secret pathway through the log. Fantastic. Don't worry, boys. I'm coming. Wait, are all my men dead? I feel like we weren't prepared for this. It's just me versus everyone. Look, there's like four fully armored soldiers against three bandits. Look at them all. Oh my god, I actually crit him. Amazing. Okay, that did no damage. Run for your life. Come here. Come here. Ah. Sherwood is lost. Oh my god. Jesus. These guys are relentless. Ah. Oh god, they're not messing around, boys. Oh, Jesus, look at him. He doesn't care. Oh, right in the back with the axe. Oh, Jesus, he's too strong. There's like no point in fighting them at close range. Robin Hood and his merry men, like Robin Hood and his dead men. Oh, oh my God, did I kill both of them with an arrow? No, no, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Come on, Drury, he's got two health. How is he still alive? Finish him. Yes. Oh, thank God I got my arrows back. Yeah, because they're really effective. Okay, can we free this stupid prisoner? How lucky we are to be freed by Robin himself. Please, Robin, if you have the men in arms to spare, save the rest of us too. The other peasants are kept in the Knight's Castle, and God knows what those knights are going to do to them. The Knight's Castle? My men are dead because of you? So apparently now I, Robin, need to go and reach the castle grounds. Me, just me, Robin, with an axe. Let's go. Attack! George! Right, I've just found the poacher's camp, which is on the way to the castle just here. Have a nice drink of water. Now it's morning time. There's actually a massive house over here. It looks beautiful. This is apparently the stables. Can we talk to this dude? Where would you like to go, Robin? Oh, so you can pay money to go and fast travel. I see. That's how the stable works. Can I steal a horse? Apparently, I cannot steal a horse. All right, I'm just uh, eating some cheese and we're heading towards um, Nottingham Castle. In fact, I can see some enemies over there. Oh God, oh my God, there's another one. How, where did he come from? Why was he just out here in the countryside? Oh my God. Oh, dude, these guys are units. They're absolute units. Jesus, why is the, why is the sheriff of Nottingham like some kind of satanic overlord? He just burned the forest around him? What an absolute madman. Attack! It's like Dark Souls. All these men are just running out of the forest at me. It's terrifying. We're in the castle grounds now. There's even more men. I'm literally running into the castle with an axe right now. I mean, I'm not so sure if you see me with an axe, but it's pretty terrifying. What was that? Now they have archers. We're definitely screwed. Open the door! Open the door! Up, up. No, no, dude, there's no way. There's no way that I can get in the castle. Gotta try again. We gotta try again. Retry. There's no way. Right, I'm back in the ashen forest here. And this time we're gonna work our way to the bonfire stealthily. And once we reach there, we'll be able to save the game. Three hours later, I've reached the bonfire. I'm assuming this is a safe place to rest. We're gonna go ahead and rest here. 
Okay, I'm gonna wander towards the castle. I think there's gonna be a lot of enemy troops. Some, like, cages, because obviously the Sheriff of Nottingham is a demon. I mean, I understand, like, the guy's not a nice guy. He's like, wants the, to gather the king's taxes and whatnot, but Jesus, he wasn't like a notorious demon from the depths of hell. Which I'm, I'm really getting the feeling that he may have been from this game, though. So we need to get inside the castle. I don't know if there's a special way to do that, but through the front door just seems like suicide to me. I like the soundtrack, though. It's very spooky. In fact, it's actually got darker when I've entered this area. I mean, look at that forest. It looks pretty beautiful now. I mean, he's even burned down the villagers outside of the castle. I mean, this guy... I mean, I'm assuming that there's going to be a secret entrance in a cave or something, so I'm going to get under this bridge here and just hope for the best. But if there's not, we may be a little bit screwed because I can't really climb or jump in this game. Oh my god, no. It's better. It's a, it's a gate to oblivion. There's no way we can get in that way, so I'm kind of like sneaking around the side here. I mean, even the castle is on fire. Is that where the devil himself lives? Oh, one sec, can I walk on this log? Oh my god, is this like a secret way in? This is actually quite cool. I was walking around the outside and I was thinking to myself, there's no way there's like any way I can get in here. But I found a secret way in. Just don't trust it. There's surely loads of people in here. Can we open this door? This looks openable. It's not openable. This looks like a prison cell. I didn't bring any lockpicks. Luckily, we... Oh god. Where's he running to? Where's he going? No, no, really. Did he see me? Dude, like, what am I meant to do? Where does this go? This could be my only chance, guys. I've just got to run down here. I think I almost had it. I almost had it. Oh, no! That guy ran out of there backwards towards me. He ran out of there backwards. Jesus Christ. This is where I need to be. This is the gate I need to open to enter the underneath of the castle. Now we're sneaking down the corridor. This is pretty fun. I'm enjoying this whole like rogue-like aspect. This is what I don't know if you guys ever watched my playthrough of Hood, which is a PvP game. This is what I wanted it to be like, like single player wise. Okay, we're in the depths of the castle now. Alright, we're back. Oh god, there's a guard here. There's two guards here. Okay, this is not the right way. Because that prisoner we saw earlier, I thought I could save him, but we clearly can't. Which means this must be the wrong way. The question is, how do I get inside the castle? I must need to, like, climb upwards, I believe. I think the only way I can go is, like, through these two gates here. But I know that the guards come as soon as I open this one. There's that guard. So he spotted me now. How do I... Where do I go? Oh, God, I'm dead. I just got headshot. And with that, I'm going to end today's episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. I'm honestly surprised how good this game is already in the early access demo, but it's definitely got a long way to go before release. So subscribe if you guys want to check out the video where I cover it in the future, and I'll see you there.